they had. So, I mean, every year it's there's no drop off. So, every year you're bringing your A game, they're going to have their A game. You know? You guys feel like you've closed that gap with them, though? Yeah, I mean, the talent we have, I mean, Coach Blue, Dr. Ray, I mean, we're, we're neck and neck with them, you know? I mean, so there's, there's really no reason that we can't compete at this level and give, give everyone a run for their money. You know? So, I mean, there are two cal NFL caliber defensive ends at Ohio State. Big, uh, big week for Caleb Jones and Absolutely. also Coy, but uh, specifically Caleb, are you guys doing anything to kind of, you know, kind of continue encouraging him or, or how, how's, how's that going in practice? So, big Caleb, uh, he's not like a guy that's going to like shy away from anything. And so, I, I mean, like, I found out I really don't have to be like, hey, man, you got to bring, you got to be like better this week and stuff like that. Like this dude knows what he's getting into and he knows how to attack every day. So it's not like baving him along. It's kind of just, hey, man, let's let's get after these guys. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. Is he kind of ahead of where you guys thought that he might be at this point in the season where you feel confident in, in him yeah, playing Yeah, I would that? say he's he's on par where we thought he was going to be. He's, uh, he's progressing every week. So, I mean, that's all you can ask for. So. How much attention did you pay to Ohio State as a kid growing up? How much attention yeah. I pay? I mean, being from Ohio, I mean, my family watched them every week. You were uh, a fan? Uh, I, was, I think I was more of a UC fan because I'm yeah. from Cincinnati. So. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I liked all I liked Ohio State because they were the they were the boys in Ohio. So. Does this week then mean a little bit more to you? Oh yeah, yeah, a little, <laughs> a little inside uh, motivations. Like I want to beat these guys. You know, so. The challenge for the entire offensive line this week, you know, facing their defensive front and having some of the experience you and Coy having that be. Helpful. I mean, the experience of just teaching the young guys and making sure, like, if something, like, they're going to have positive plays on us. So just keeping level headed mind, uh, not not getting down to the dumps, like, hey, they make a play on us, we're going to come back 1 0 and make a play on them, you know? So just having that experience, I think, in this game is just leadership, making sure people are, aren't, aren't getting too down and too high. So. How does that work for you guys with, with Mike's ability to run and such, just to, when it's time for him just to take off? Yeah. I mean, uh, can you guys sense it or feel it? Or, you know? I mean, when we're blocking in the pocket and we have Penix back there, we're like, I, I mean, I've a couple of plays in the past couple of weeks, it's just like, all right, something's, something's got to be like, the ball's not released yet, this dude might take off here soon. And once we kind of feel that and see that, our goal is to all just chase and be, be his barricade, his roadblock for him, you know? Yeah. Have you seen any growth in his assertiveness inside the huddle? Or more? Yeah, uh, he's, he's speaking more confidently, I, would, I can tell. Um, just just kind of like taking control of the offense as a whole is what you need from a leader and a quarterback. So I mean, you can't shy away from anything because everyone's listening to you and keying in on you. So I think he's taken a huge step forward this year and just taking his, his charge, leading the charge. How much does it mean to you guys that he hasn't really been touched yet in two weeks? Oh, that's uh, <laughs> that's it's so so nice as an offensive line. That's our job, you know. It's, yeah. That's our biggest that's our biggest priority is to keep him safe and clean, you know. So uh, we look forward to keep doing that every year. How do you keep a level head uh, going into a week like this? I mean, obviously, they want to stay in the line. Yeah, uh, I mean, being an older guy, it's. I mean, it's not as, like, you don't get, like, nervous or anxious, not nervous, but anxious for the game, you know, because it's a big game, big crowd, all that stuff. But I think as a younger guy, like, that's why just being a leader of this game for the young guys, just being, hey, just just trust what we're doing, trust your craft. The coaches have us where they want us. The Coach Ballou, Dr. Ray, they have us in tip-top shape. Like, we're in this game with these guys and we can compete with them. So just not getting, like, not buying into the hype, you know. How much does that matter, though, too, like from that confidence level and in, in getting these younger guys to say, yeah, we really can beat this team? Oh, like how much the, is like, the confidence of, oh, yeah. of teaching yeah. them what they need to do as a player, but just the mental aspect yeah. of having that confidence matters, too, right? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a great thing about this year is all the dudes, like, they have a dog mentality and they're not gonna they're not going into like these big games where like maybe like in the past it's like oh it's the big boys so we gotta if you're a little nervous you're playing on edge you're not playing it loose you know and I think this team's really just hey, we're gonna go out there and fly around and not hold anything back. Two more each. Simon, uh, the, the the spread between Ohio State and Indiana is the closest that it's been in, in several years. But is that something? Do you do you, you know you've been here for a while? Do you do you feel something different about this team as far as getting over the hump and taking or beating a team like Ohio State? Uh, I mean, every year we're, our goal is to beat everyone in the league, you know, everyone in the conference. I didn't, I didn't even know what the spread is for this game. I mean, we go in every game. We're not like we're not going to buy into Vegas and be like, oh, these guys think we're going to win by this much or whatever. So, um, but yeah, just going to this game, like for, it's the biggest game of the year because it's the next game. So. Thanks, Simon. Yes, sir. Simon, we'll get you a joke real quick. 